great to have a pet at home, right? Are you saying, I wouldn't know because I don't have a pet? But you want one, right? Well, I'll state the obvious. Go out there and adopt one today. But if you can't or you're not allowed to have a pet at home for some reason, I still have a solution. There are a few things that you can do to ensure some quality animal time for yourself. Now, fostering is one option. In fact, let's go right away and meet a few foster parents who will give us the lowdown on foster care. Fostering an animal is a serious job and there are different approaches to it. The golden rule that foster parents swear by is that at the end of foster care, their little baby should be ready to be adopted into a brand new home. Another thing to keep in mind is the ladder of life. Remember that it's always better for the animal to move up in life, just like for us humans. So from the streets to a loving foster home where it can get over its trauma and finally to a home where it will have unconditional love and care for all its life. Pratibha works as a HR professional at an IT firm. Despite her crazy schedules, she has managed to foster different animals for about a year now and has found them all permanent homes. I've been fostering uh, uh, certain rescue pets for quite some time. And uh, most of the time it's been uh, bringing them home, you know, and definitely that's a, that's a challenging uh, task. You know, you, it's basically like taking uh, a member into your own family. So the dogs that I've brought home are little older ones and uh, typically uh, it is uh, I mean, the first thing that you have to uh, make note is to understand them basically. That's the most important part. You know, you always need to do a few things to add to the dog's uh, personality. How do you work on that? Over a period of time when uh, you, know, you, you start uh, noticing your pet, you would understand that he or she is not uh, you know, f functioning well on certain areas, right? So you'll have to really uh, watch out for any bad signs or signals, that's one. And uh, besides that, I would say uh, psychological independence, you, you have to definitely give your pet that because uh, they are in a state of trauma when they reach us, mostly. Yeah, And uh, we'll have to basically build the concept of trust in them. Okay, so even this involves having the dog or cat over at home for a few weeks. And if you can't pull that off, there still is a way out. Nitin, another foster parent, told us exactly how. If, if I manage to rescue a kitten or a dog, so first thing I would uh, get in touch with uh, my vet. I would try boarding him in the, in, in the veterinary house uh, because she has a boarding center. So, uh, uh, and uh, for a couple of weeks or so, I would keep uh, the, the person and the, the dog in or the kitten in out there. Uh, I try to have uh, an inoculation done for, for it. And uh, you know, I I have few friends uh, like Shreya who I just uh, pass on the uh, uh, message to, and she would make sure, uh, even my vet Sujata as well. So she would make sure that uh, uh, she finds a suitable home within three weeks. A lot of uh, animal welfare is bring in abandoned pets or uh, pets that have been hit by vehicles on the road uh, to my clinic. They bore them for a few days and for which they fun. Nitin brings in a lot of pets, both cats and dogs. He boards them in my clinic uh, probably for a week or so, then picks up their health and then he rehomes them. And I also help in rehoming pets after they have completely recovered. And uh, I, my suggestion as a vet is uh, to the animal welfare is it's better to bring in the pets to the clinic, especially when they are very sick, uh, to pick up their health, give them all the vaccinations that's due so that it's safe for the uh, pet plus the owner who is going to adopt them after they have picked up the health. Pratibha also told us that a foster parent should take care of things like training and socialising his or her baby. Training essentially uh, needs to start after two to three weeks uh, of the dog uh, of the dog coming to your house because you definitely need that settling in period for the dog, right? 
and training i would say don't go for anything very intensive it has to be the basic essential, uh, essential training uh, could include uh, toilet training and it's also good to socialize him with as many people as possible because he would uh, you know gain acceptance uh, faster Soba and Tantrum. They are Mr. and Mrs. Balatraj's newest babies. This brother and sister were rescued from a dumpster when they were just days old and have been living with the Balatraj's for a while. This human couple has been fostering for some time now. Initially, um, every one hour you have to feed them. Okay, uh, to see how much they need. Slowly you can uh, shift it to two, once in two hours and then stabilize for once in three hours. So while feeding you have to wipe their uh, private parts with uh, cotton wool dipped in warm water. So then only that's what their mother do. They lick their private parts so that then only they pass urine and motion. have been living a good life in their foster home but all this could change if they don't find a good home to call their own foster parents should also remember not to spoil their animal babies too much because they can never be sure of what kind of facilities the babies will have once they're in their new homes it's definitely a difficult uh, you know decision to give them away but uh, uh, when you look back right the way they've come to you come to you on the way that they are now you, you definitely feel proud about the development and uh, and also the most important thing i would say is finding a good foster parent that itself would make your decision uh, simpler and easier Most of the time you can just cross your fingers and hope that your foster baby gets a great home to live in and when that happens is when you get your reward the reward of knowing that your baby has a shot at living life filled with happiness good health and much love Coming up we'll tell you how you can make chutney and cloudy your own